Camp Abilities mission statement is to provide hope, fun, and support to children with special needs and their families. Well, hello there. Um, my name is Alexis Ramsey and I am the Abilities Program Director um, and I get the honor to oversee Camp Ability. Camp Ability is actually going on right now here at North Boulevard Church of Christ. Um, we have approximately 79 campers who get to come uh, for seven weeks. During that time, we have lots of activities, um, including Bible study and games and music. Um, we also go on lots of field trips. We have been to Premier 6 to see Toy Story 4. We actually are at Jump Street this week on the trampolines. Um, next week, we get to go climbing um, at Ascent Climbing Gym. So, um, with your camp ability, our verse that we focus upon is Philippians 4.13, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's truly what we focus on for our campers, that we want to focus on their abilities and not their disabilities. So here at camp, they get an opportunity um, just to enjoy um, their friends, um, do awesome activities that any child would want to participate in, um, and then, of course, get to hear um, uh the amazing message that we have and in our salvation in Jesus. Um, this year, our theme uh, for our Bible study is Revelations 1.8, and it is, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. So during each week, we have a different um, Bible study that we focus upon and we grow upon that because truly we are trying to emphasize the ability how we can grow in Christ and he can become our best friend. Um, this year we have um, our camp staff who is made up of approximately 35 seasonal staff members. They include Kim Cruz who is our camp director along with lead counselors and assistant counselors and um, multiple nurses that are here on site. Um, many of the staff members are either college age um, students who are focusing on different disciplines like physical or speech therapy and some of our um, staff members are actually teachers or educational assistants in the school system. So it's a really neat incorporation of a lot of different areas um, and a lot of different skills um, that God has called here. Um, currently, we have a group from uh, a local church that has come out for a week-long mission trip with us. This is um, one of many that we have this summer, and those are for our volunteers. Uh, camp could not go on without their volunteers um, because of our staffing um, and ideally our ratio. We want our kids to have um, the ability to participate in all activities and um, for us to modify them. So with that, we keep it about a one to three ratio of one counselor to three um, campers. Um, this year, we also have started a new program. We've partnered with Branches um, Christian Counseling and we are doing a caregiver support group. And during that time, we have family members who um, meet together and just find support in one another, um, focus on specific topics that they may have to deal with when raising a child with special needs. Um, this was uh, granted to us from the Healing Trust. It's one of our largest grants. Camp could not run without our grants and donations. Um, camp is actually probably receives the most grants um, of any of the programs at Special Kids. Um, so we're really thankful for that. Uh, today we actually have the Investors Luncheon that is going on and we have um, 55 plus guests of investors from our community that are coming out to get to have lunch with our kids, hear about the program, and hopefully continue to be a part of Special Kids and maybe even um, increase that giving. Um, we also have a great partnership with a few other um, organizations and places. MTSU uh, sports teams, the football team, has come out the first week uh, or the first session of camp. And actually, the basketball team is coming this Friday for that. We've had the softball team and um, the soccer team to also join us. Uh, we have partnered also with the MTSU Rec Center. So every week for one of our field trips, we go to the indoor swimming pool, which is probably the one of the favorite activities of the campers and the counselors. Um, they have a large indoor um, slide and it's always a celebration uh, when those kids get to go down that slide and everybody cheers. Um, 
Something else that we were grant we were blessed with kind of last minute is Journeys in Community Living has partnered with us and they have allowed us to use two of their wheelchair vans so that we're able to transport our kids from A to B. And this was truly just a God miracle because we, um, that's one of our hardest thing is transportation with camp. And we wanna make sure that all the kids get a chance to participate. And if it wasn't for Journeys, I don't know if we would've been able to do that. Um, this is the 13th year of camp and I can't wait to see where it goes. Um, if ever you get a chance or you have time to volunteer, um, you are always welcome over here. We've got one more week of camp, sadly, um, but then we'll start planning for next year. So um, hopefully you guys get to see the kids and um, they're gonna sing a song today that they've been working on in music, which is one of the activities that they do. Um,